Or this is also into the light to share the root of z to the power of 4 plus 1 is equal to 0. So what we have to do here is rewrite the equation and we obtain z to the power of 4 is equal to negative 1. As we can see, for any even power, we shouldn't have negative value, which means that this definitely we will obtain complex root. So what we have to do here, we can let w be equal to negative 1 and we express w in trigonometric form. So we have r is equal to from here as we can see this is the real part for any complex number we will have real part and imaginary part so which means that for this case we will have negative 1 plus 0 i 0 indicate we don't have the imaginary part which means that this is x is equal to negative 1 and y is equal to 0 r is equal to square root of x square which is negative 1 square plus y square so which means that we should obtain equal to 1 and for theta is equal to y over x if let's say we don't know how to handle with any ordinance with value 0 we can think logically so we have the y acid and the x acid for y acid we know that x is equal to 0 however on the x acid y is equal to 0 since we have y is equal to 0 which means that the point must be on the y acid so either it's supposed to be 0 degree or 360 degree or it's supposed to be 180 degree then we check the value of x since x is negative to the right x is positive to the left x is negative which means that it's supposed to be the left hand degree which is 180 degree and with this we are able to rewrite w in terms of trigonomic form or the polar form if let's say we want to express the polar form in terms of radian we can take 180 degree divided by 180 times pi if let's say we want to leave our answer in degree form then we just leave our answer in degree so let's say we want to have in degree form then r then we can use the short form of cos plus i cos plus i sine b c i s the c so c is degree 180 degree now we check we have power 4 which means that we're supposed to have 4 roots originally we have 180 degree now we have 4 which means that it's, it has to be divided by 4 to be fair so divided by 4 this is another way of applying the formula we know that for any circle for any trigonometric function, it will exact, reach the exactly the same position every time we rotate 360 degree. So which means that every 360 degree will produce exactly the same position. Now we have 4. So not the original one, but we will now have 360 degree divided by 4 which is equal to 90 degree each so the first value is equal to constant is 1 1 power any number will get back 1 it's supposed to have 1 to the power 1 over n what is n? n is 4 so we have 1 to the power of 1 over 4 but 1 power anything we get back 1 so which means that we can ignore this part then we straight away write 6 we can ignore the coefficient so 180 the first root that we're supposed to have is 45 now instead of 180 because we have 
one, two, three, four, four of them. Then each time we increase 90 degree. So we have 45 originally. Then we increase 90 degree to reach the second root. So we have 135 degree and we increase again every time we need to increase 90 degree to reach the third root. So we have 225 and the last root. So we're supposed to increase another 90 degree, which is 315 degree. If let's say the question asks us to express the answer in rectangular form, so what we have to do, we just press calculator. So cos 45 degree is equal to 32 over 2. Or we want to write in approximate form, so we use decimal, we have 0 0.707. We round to the nearest three decimal places. Then we change cos to sine. We will obtain exactly the same value with positive value 0.707i. Done the first one. Now we move to the second. So we have cos 135. So we have negative 0 0.707, change cos to sine, and we have positive 0 0.707i. Done the second, then we move on to the third, 225 degree. So this is negative again. We have negative 0 0.707. Change cos to sine. Negative also. So we have negative 0 0.707i. And the last one, cos 315. So we have positive. 0 0.707 and is supposed to be negative 0 0.707i because sine in the fourth quadrant we will result in negative value how we ensure this value because as we can see for cos 45 degree we will obtain positive 0 0.707 and here also positive 0 0.707 so suppose the magnitude should be exactly the same. The modulus R should be exactly the same for all of them. So which means that since this value is exactly the same, then this value and this value must be the same. And this and this must be conjugate of each other. This is the conjugate complex root. Okay, and we done. If let's say you want to check whether the answer is correct or not, so we just have to take 0 0.707 we should have start with bracket so 0 0.707 plus 0 0.707 how to obtain the i we have to make make use of the calculator function the complex function number two then we type again 0 0.707 plus 0 0.707 707i. We press the ENG button and bracket to the power of 4 and we should obtain negative 1. As we can see, because we round rounded, so that's why the answer will only approximately to negative 1. So if let's say we want to check for this, of course we just have to add the plus minus sign or change the plus minus sign accordingly. So for the second and we check as we can see also near to negative one which means that we are correct. Okay that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.